we've got an update here courtesy of new york times regarding my favorite tyrannical art boss a guy that is looking like he might be running a little bit of a satanic cult um, over there in New York by designing some of the coolest sneakers in the world and also designing some of the coolest pieces of art in the world. And of course, you know that guy to be Tom Sachs. Tom Sachs has another article here, courtesy of New York Times, where they're trying to dive deep into his practice, into um, his methodology, into his mindset um, regarding the recent attacks or the recent expose about him and his studio and how he allegedly treats his staff members treats his studio assistants and just treats people in general um that work in and around him and you know he doesn't sound like the greatest guy on paper but again if that means you have to kind of you know put up with him being an absolute dick to you in a workplace and you end up getting a pair of mars yards i'm all for it i'll sign me up for that mate sign me up for a bit of abuse sign me up for this little short king to shout in my face so that i can get those rubberized flipping mars yards with a rubberized toe i'm all for it i really am but this article's courtesy of the new york times it says who is the bad art boss and it features you know our short king there bent over somewhere in the field wearing the to the nike the tom Sachs nike craft mars yard sorry the gps is the general purpose shoe a really good shoe that i haven't copped at the moment but i definitely will in the future so the article follows tom Sachs, the downtown artist who's recently come to a uh, broader public attention over accusations of a um, epically mistreating his studio assistants first emerges as a creature of the interest in five rolling midcott new york in 1994 when he built a crash for barney's uh, christmas windows and cast Hello Kitty and Roll of Jesus. Outraged Catholic groups placed hundreds of calls to the store and display was quickly removed. Still, it was a time when a cat a calculatedly um, offensive expression a tasteless gesture did not signal the midnight of a career so much so as the bright early morning um, by the 1990s new york was no longer the center of the art world and the influence of the critics was long past a period of a decline galleries and curators who affinities had once been entwined with the preoccupations of the totemic intellectuals now found themselves increasingly under the spell of the fashion world's mercurial vision the era of the clement greenberg who had his famously championed Ashback Expressionism for its resistance of the invasion of Converse was once over was long over sorry succeeded in a new age that brought a rapturous enthusiasm specifically to these intrusions of the market in this environment tom Sachs found the trend of chasing audience with his cheeky banalities sculptures of fast food meals wrapped in hermes packaging a toilet made out of prada shoe boxes and a homemade gun with a tiffany logo for a 2002 group show about the art and narcissism at the jewish museum tom Sachs built and described a pop-up concentration camp forged out of a prada hat box crazy um then the writer deborah solomon asked him in an interview in a new york Times magazine what any of this could possibly have to do with hitler mr tax responded that fashion was like fascism because it was about the loss of identity fashion he went on is good when it when it helps people when it helps you look sexy but it's bad when it makes you feel stupid or fat suggesting that the coercion of the harper's bazaar existed on some continuum of the gestapos you know what i'm actually confused about I'm actually kind of curious. Why hasn't Tom Sachs ever worked with Kanye? They would be a pretty good combo. Maybe they're just too similar in their personalities, and they probably get a lot, they probably get on each other's nerves. But I'm surprised that they haven't worked together beforehand because I think a lot of their kind of outlook on life and clearly their ego would definitely kind of align. Um, the notion that Sachs was critiquing the vulgarities of a, uh, the luxury consumerism, however mindlessly, was just pretense. His own and one passed along by his ob ob obsequious fashion press. But the joke was always on us. He was finding his way into the firmament, uh, moving pop art away from its origins as a means of cultural comment towards a newer language of collusion, a descendant of, Warho of Warhol's a descendant of Warhol's he if we imagine that Warhol had held the ambition of an actual work of uh, of the ambition to actually work for the Campbell Soup Company in 2006 the founding Prada a gallery space in Milan held a Tom Sachs exhibition six years later in 2012 um, he began to ongoing collaboration with Nike to make sneakers a relationship that has now been jeopardized 
that now being jeopardized. A man hypocr a man's hypocrisies never drives in a single lane. The trouble for Sachs began early this month when a curved investigation outlined allegations of misconduct by more than a dozen former employees. They all described a workplace characterized by fear and humiliation. And for a while, Sachs was made a big art that requires many hands, spaceship replicas, and so on. And this management style has made such has made as much as a fetish of process as the work itself. Um, again, you see here some poison gas canisters and Chanel and Hermes and Tiffany wrapped. I kind of like these, they're really cool. 13 years ago, he released a short film called 10 Bullets, meant to serve as an employee guidebook, instructing staff on the many exacting rules, keeping fit, answering orders with the words I understand or I don't understand, which has a satirical charm until you realize that the sentiment behind all this is largely serious. In a curved article, former workers alleged that Miss Sachs made sexist comments about women's bodies, lost his temper, kept vintage porn on the walls, threw things, and called people autistic and R worded, and made the assistants tend to demand demeaning personal attacks this sounds like a standard art studio this sounds like a standard design studio a standard studio you know anywhere you've been really and truly he doesn't sound any different than anyone else i've heard in this position who kind of holds some position in culture as well he are highly regarded they usually operate their studios in this kind of way for whatever reason maybe because they can get away with it maybe because they're cunts deep down but this doesn't sound too crazy even though it sounds crazy it doesn't sound too this it doesn't sound too unfamiliar to me that's a better word to say it continues Said a week or so later, more allegations surfaced in the piece by Artnet News, among them from a former assistant who said she had to pick up clothes from Chanel from Mr. Sachs's wife, Sarah Hoover, whose Instagram page is a showcase of her life in Chanel, and prepare meals for her French bulldog consisting of wild rabbit, spinach, aloe water, and coconut oil. Yo, they feed their French bulldog wild rabbit, spinach, aloe water, and coconut oil. Fucking hell. That is crazy, mate. In response to that assertion, a studio spokesman um, told Artnet that assistants were in fact dispatched to make Napoleon's uh, veterinarian prescribed uh, meals, neither... The dog's called Napoleon. <laughs> Neither did the studio deny that Tissax um, once appeared in a Zoom call with Nike in his underwear. It did clarify that changing clothes was a feature of the weekly virtual fittings. So he, he he turned up to a Nike meeting in his underwear and still kept his deal. That's how you know you're a big dog. That's probably him flexing. That's probably him doing what Kanye did. Remember that video of Kanye showing the IDS executives porn on his phone? That was him basically, you know, basically dunking on them and saying, hey, this is how important I am. I can stand here in this meeting, show you hardcore porn of some woman that's got a German accent and you guys can't do nothing about it. Like, you know, that's probably his version, I'd imagine. In a public statement made after the accusation surfaced, Nike said that it was deeply concerned uh, about the various serious allegations. <laughs> I love that phrase, because that means nothing. That means Tom Sachs is a big dog. His stuff sells out. It resells for crazy amounts. It's good marketing. We don't want to cut him off and send him to Adidas or Puma. We want to keep him. So we're going to act like we're concerned, act like we're going to do something. We're not going to do anything. Deeply concerned by very serious allegations doesn't mean anything. A lot of words that means nothing. Anyway, it continues. Around Sachs, um, that the company had was in contact with Tom and his studio, seeking to better understand the situation and how these issues have been addressed. This sounds like what Kim said when Blen Chang got cancelled for the BDSM bears. Anyway, it continues. On Tuesday, Mr. Sachs sought to confront what had happened, sending a letter to his staff. Although he said that he had never tried to make anyone uncomfortable, he acknowledged that he could be impulsive and even aggressive, and he was um, demanding boss who always expects the absolute best, but that the recent representation of him in the media did not portray the totality of his long career, which I agree with. He's definitely a cunt, but definitely a cunt in, in small doses. I don't think he's a cunt all the time, um, but it's just funny that he's kind of arguing that point, really, to be fair. Some allegations were false or misleading, he wrote, and while he did not follow up with any detail about what exactly was false or misleading, he said that he sincerely regretted having referred to a particular room in the studio housing an air compressor as a rape room. <laughs> he was working to improve himself, and he had the midst of formalizing human resource policies, um, ignoring perhaps that the ostensibly regimented corporization of the studio was what caused so much of the conflict in the first place. It's also funny, he gets accused of being a bit of a tyrant at the workplace and then he decides to rewrite the human policy, the human resources uh, policies, the HR stuff. Imagine that. That's what he decides to do. No, I'm going to rewrite it. Funny. For the recent show, 
um, that the, so for all the recent show that the art and fashion world has made of their progressive politics, their efforts to make to market their alignment with the inclusivity clauses, they remain tied to the caricatures of the um in temperature sorry in temp in temperate in temperate in temperate. I never heard that word. What's what's in temperate mean? Uh, this person's using some mad word in temperate in temperate. I never heard that. Intemperate genius. What's intemperate mean? Come on, load up. Come on, computer. Show me what intemperate means. I want to find out what this means. Help me with English. Help me. Guide me. Guide me with English words. What does intemperate mean? I would have to just search on Google. Intemperate. Come on, son. Intemperate. Adjective. Having or showing a lack of self control. Immoderate. Okay, intemperate outbursts concerning global cons conspiracies. Okay, cool. That sounds like Alex Jones. A brilliant artist reads beneath the culture, um, identifying um, the undercurrents the rest of us cannot easily recognize. What should make one of, who has managed to miss these as happening um, right on top who would build blind to the tidal wave of the shifting social norms stories like this are typically prompt a circular conversation about how to ought to think about the great art and bad men here the questions seem to be a lot simpler miss sax mr sax sorry ended the letter to his team by saying that he remained devoted to innovation and radical ideas was he ever so we don't really get a sorry from him he didn't really really acknowledge any of his ills and whatnot which i kind of like i think if you're going to be a cunt you might as well just double down on it and just kind of ride it until the wheels fall off so i'm not really too you know annoyed by that and to be fair to him looking at the guy i never expect him to be anything but what he's being described at just looking at the dude right a short king like him um with the with the art and design world in his hands i didn't expect him to be anything but what people have described him to be um you know in the working environment so it really isn't a surprise in that regard but i wish you to see how these brands react to him because you know clearly don't gonna do nothing clearly the shoes are still gonna come out and we're all gonna be clamoring for them as i will be and i know i will be clamoring for them i know i will be clamoring for them <laughs>